Hi guys, and welcome to factoring quadratics that have leading coefficients, okay? Remember that a leading coefficient means it's the number that's right here that's before the x squared. A coefficient is the number that's multiplied by a variable, okay? And so the leading coefficient is going to be the first one, the one that's multiplied by the x squared. So it's going to be of the form ax squared plus bx plus c, okay? So our example is going to be 12x squared plus 17x plus 6, and they're going to ask us to factor this. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to draw ourselves a lovely little box. All right, here's our box. Mm -hmm. My box looks kind of sad. Your box hopefully looks a little bit better than this. And then we're going to put the first term here, the whole thing, with the x squared in the upper left-hand corner. So we're going to put 12x squared right here. And then we're going to put our C, okay, the last thing here, is going to go in this last box here. So we're going to put a 6 right there, okay? So that's the start of our box. Now to find what we're going to put in these corners right here, what we need to do is we need to multiply together the 12 and the 6, okay? So we're going to do off to the side, we're going to do 12 times 6, and 12 times 6 is 72. Okay, and so now, like we've been doing before with the factoring, what we want to find is we want to find two factors of 72 that are going to add up to 17, okay? So we can kind of immediately, like, get rid of some of them, you know, so clearly it's not going to be 1 and 72. That's going to give us 73. So you just kind of want to think about, you know, what, what good factors do you know? Um, some good factors are 8 and 9, so you might want to start with that one, say. So if we do 8 and 9, then 8 plus 9 is indeed 17, and that's going to work out for us, okay? You might not have gotten 8 and 9 first. You know, maybe you tried to divide 72 by 2, so you would get 2 and 36, but that's not going to add up to 17. And you could just kind of keep trying until you end up with a pair that will work, okay? So it's going to be 8 and 9 for us, and what that means is we're going to take this, we're going to take the 8 and the 9, Okay, and we're going to fill them in here in these two boxes here. Okay, and we're going to put a little x with them. We're gonna, so we're going to have 8x and we're going to have 9x. Okay, and so what's really in this box here are the terms that we would get. So like once we finally have our factored expression, if we foiled that out, these are the terms that we would get, right? We would get first, outer, inner, last. Okay, and so that's what, that's what this box gives us. So now, now what we do is we want to find the greatest common factor of each of the columns in each of the rows. So let's start here, right? So we look at the numbers and we want to say what's the biggest number that both 12 and 9 can be divided by. And so for us that's going to be a 3. And then also both of these have an x, so we're also going to pull out an x. So on top here we're going to have 3x, alright? And then now we're going to do this column, okay? Between the 8 and the 6, the biggest number we can pull out is 2, okay? So we're just going to put a 2 here, and since there's no x here, we're not going to put an x up here, okay? So it's just going to be 2. Now we're going to look at this first row here, okay? So what's the biggest number that you can divide 12 and 8 by? That's going to be 4, okay? So we know we're going to have a 4, and then both of them have an x, so we're going to pull out a 4x, okay? That's the biggest thing that we can divide both 12x squared and 8x by. And then finally, we're going to use this row right here, the 9x and the 6, and the biggest thing that we can divide both of these by is 3. And again, since that 6 does not have an x, it's just going to be 3 and not 3x. All right, now what this gives us here is this is going to give us, this is going to give us our two things that are factored, right? Okay, so on the top we've got 3x and positive 2, okay, so that's going to give us 3x plus 2 is going to be one thing in the parentheses, and then the other thing in the parentheses of the factors is going to be what's on the side here. 4x and a positive 3 is going to give us 4x plus 3. And so to write 12x squared plus 17x plus 6 in factored form, it's going to be 3x plus 2 times 4x plus 3. And that's it.